Okay, hi there. Uh, this is uh, Stuart H um, on the Facebook group. I'm hard boil on the uh, Homebrew forums. Um, I'm doing a quick video today uh, off the back of a video I saw done by uh, Jamie at um, uh, Bathtub Brew or Bathtub Brewing. I can't remember how he quite phrased it. Um, regarding building your own extendable. Um, overflow pipe for the Angel Homebrew Brew Devil. So I've got the 50 litre one, uh, that just arrived, I'll be doing a review on that shortly or with the magic of the internet it might actually appear before this video but I just wanted to record this video to show you. Um, uh, I went going through the same kind of steps that Jamie did so you know maybe you're asking well why record this video, why not just refer people to Jamie's existing video. Um, I think um, possibly either the component parts have potentially changed, they look slightly different from the original ones that Jamie used um, and Jamie um, uh, went to the extra length of uh, cutting all of his pieces down, um, however when I came to do it, um, it it didn't seem to need that so I just thought I'd kind of run people through this, they could have a look at it. I also went a slightly different way to disassemble it which I felt um, allowed you uh, a little bit more to make maintain a bit more resistance in the um, uh, thing. So you know, uh, uh, you know, Jamie, uh, Jamie obviously did a great job. Um, I'm hoping to just help improve things a little bit potentially for people. So I will show you uh, what steps I've gone through um, because the uh, extendable things. Uh, which I can't remember, they were limbo poles or something like that, um, came in a pair, I ordered two sets of fittings, so um, so the first person to, um, uh, you know, uh, comment, maybe join the, um, the Ace uh, Brew Devil home uh, Facebook group and comment there about this video, um, or first person to comment on if they want one of these, I will send them the spare one. So I bought enough pieces to make two, so as you can see I've already made one. So let's uh, just walk you through what I did. Um, obviously, uh, as you can see here, this is the part that comes with the original Brew Devil 50 litre. It's got a smooth half fitting, half threaded fitting for the top for the overflow, a coupling, a coupling and then uh, a small insert some sort of hole through which is just provides that fitting into the bottom screen obviously the bottom screen goes like so um, and uh, you can then obviously uh, pick your lengths so it probably will help you if I take that off take this hot one off to see them side by side so obviously um, the top of the overflow is here um, so you can build it up either the small one the large one or a pair depending on the size of your grain build however if you're in between those mins and max um, it might leave you in a situation where uh, you know uh, it's it's maybe not fitting as nicely as you'd like or anyway just the telescopic option is I think is a good option so this is the one I put together uh, I ordered exactly the bits um, that uh, Jamie recommended, other than these two end caps, which are PTFE plastic uh, fittings, which I just, they were cheaper and more easily accessible. So this is what I've put together uh, without any additional cutting. Um, so, and this is how it would compare to the original unit. So as you can see, uh, you can achieve a slightly larger grain bill, not by much, but of course, you could add one of these fittings to the top to gain yourself uh, a little bit more on the overflow if you wanted to. It isn't going to allow you to raise the uh, top mesh particularly any higher, and maybe a little bit. And then uh, this can shrink down to approximately uh, the same height as the uh, the smaller pipe. So, kind of gives you that everywhere in between flexibility it's you know it'll achieve the same as the long pipe no issue um, and as I say it'll achieve the same as the short pipe um, you know if you're just going to use it here with, an, uh, with no additional overflow pipe on the top uh, or this overflow fitting on the top doesn't really matter you don't really need that 
So yeah, um, I'm more than happy with that. I didn't cut any additional pieces down. So let me just walk you through how I did it. Um, there's some additional tools you're gonna need. Um, a couple of sets of adjustables, hopefully you can see those. Uh, two sets of adjustables um, for doing the nuts up. These are the fittings that Jamie recommended ordering. They fit perfectly, bang on. I know, and I, if memory serves me correctly, Jamie saw this project somewhere else, so um, uh, it's it's doing the rounds, so to speak. So most of the top, you're only going to need the bottom three sections, um, as per Jamie's video. So the top is all to be discarded. Don't worry about that too much. Um, the first thing I did was actually uh, extend this out and cut it off at this ridge line um, at the bottom using the Dremel. So uh, I'm just gonna ever so loosely put it in the vise. Uh, uh, you know, do do not crush this because you're not gonna do yourself any favors if you make it oval. off covered in burrs pretty horrible um, what a grinding stone uh, this isn't though I call it a Dremel it's not a Dremel it's just a rotary tool it's probably the cheapest one on the market <laughs> uh, it, it works fine it's, it's not brilliant you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about this in too much um, because it's going to be obviously uh, deep inside a compression fitting but I just like to make sure that there's all the loose bits are taken off and none of these little burrs are going to end up in my brew. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, there's nothing going to come off there now. I'll give it a good flush out afterwards. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I, th I sort of found an easier way of... of um, of taking these apart you can go down the road of um, the way that Jamie did it and you can kind of pull them out the top section but what I found was that actually you can disassemble it um, in the reverse direction there's basically these neat little uh, steel plates that hold the unit together he says but there you go so if you pop it out the bottom what you've got these two little stainless steel plates and those are the things that are providing the extra so should we say the sort of extra stiffness and rigidity in this removing the play so i thought it was pretty key to keep those if we can so if you just disassemble it from the bottom down uh, effectively you can sliding it up you they get the next set out there you go there's the next set and you can just reassemble it um, it will reassemble back in that direction I took the um, the other reason for cutting that small bit off the bottom was it it just allows you to achieve that closer to that uh, the smaller fitting so that's the only bit you really need to cut off so now we have our three sections um, and we just need to reverse uh, the assembly of them again. So it's done such a good job, I can't tell them apart. Um, so you just re re reverse the assembly, putting those pieces back in. They, uh, they're a little blade like that. They just locate in that little hole, like so. It'll click in, you just slide it into the pipe. You just push that one down a little bit. Just push it in, give it a little twist, it will go back in. Uh, and then you just, once it's passed, um, the little lugs stick out and stop the other one coming back down. So you need to kind of do it in a particular order, otherwise you can't get past them. Hopefully you can see this okay. Just locating them there. And then giving that a little twist
we go. And the, obviously the first two that came out, you don't need those. Um, so now they have those two locating things in here, uh, these little locating blades, which improves the stability. If you, you can try it out with the other sections, but if you are to take it apart, you'll find that it's a little bit floppy um, and not particularly, um, uh, it, it's gonna, f you know, under with a top plate on, it could just sort of collapse under its own weight effectively. Um, so yeah, and from here it's pretty simple. Um, obviously we select the correct fitting, the 16 mil. Slide it onto the fitting and down. I like to do that before I'm doing it. There are a couple of pieces located inside. Um, you have the olive um, and then the piece that sits behind it, which just pushes it down. Just wanna make sure that that's located all the way down to the bottom. And get that done up hand tight. Because it's a compression fitting, I mean that might fall out of there right now, but uh, as we um, there we go, the tighter you do that up, the further that olive will squeeze in and compress against the bar. Oh. See that past my uh, past my head, and now that's on there. I mean that that's going nowhere. That's just absolutely rock solid. Yep. Uh, now we put the top fitting on. Again, that will just locate on there. Do that, just make sure that, that those two both the pieces are in there. Yep, they are. Hopefully, you can see that. Make sure that that's fully on. There's nothing you don't need to put any washers or sealers on this, of course. All you know, it's not under any pressure. Um, and there's not there's nothing really to be concerned about a little bit of fluid leaking out. It's just gonna go back into the um, it's just gonna go back inside the um Malt pipe. This one you might want to do it just a little bit tighter than the, but it will, or it will need to go a few more turns because there seems to be a little bit of difference between the. The, the fit of those two but again super easy um, and there you have it we have a, a second one as I say uh, I'm happy to give one of these away um, in fact I think that one has come out a little bit taller than the original one I must have cut a little bit more material off um, off the bottom of the pipe off the original one so or I haven't got it extended out all the way no, that looks good. Um, yeah, it looks like this one will probably come up a, little, a tiny bit shorter than that one. Yeah, I mean, it's almost, uh, actually it's just providing a little bit more height than the, uh, the original one. I may have cut just a little bit more material off the bottom, but I think that's the better place to cut it off. If you want to shorten it, I would say sh shorten the bottom. Um, you don't need to cut them all down. Uh, and then you, if you shorten the bottom, you can then, of course, disassemble it in that way and remove these um, little uh, spacing plates. And then you can put them back in, which is just, you end up with a, a, a nicer feeling product. And then I bought two of these PTFE washers. Um, I probably wouldn't worry too much about putting a nut on the top. You can, um, it doesn't worry me too much. Um, but yeah, so that's just a, a little short video to show uh, a little bit different way of approaching that same issue. As I say, I'll give one of these away. Come on the Facebook group um, and comment on that. Hopefully you found this useful and um, yeah, happy brewing.